Welcome back for the September update for Armed Fantasia and Penny Blood. The project is officially one year old now for both games. Time sure does fly. As always, let's start with Armed Fantasia. Setting art for Town and Dungeons is proceeding at a decent pace most likely. They were kind of being a little coy about that one in the update. And the outward appearance of Towns promises to be very unique and exciting for players who arrive at a new town or city for the first time. And with cities being climbable and interactive in fun but small little ways, the developers feel like town exploration could be very enjoyable for the players. And some gadgets and dungeon gimmicks are working properly now too in some of the dungeons. And in this one particular piece of concept art, in this town you will be able to walk upon this train, but the name of the town hasn't been revealed quite as of yet. And then there was some commentary about scenario writing and storyboarding, but nothing too crazy worth mentioning was shared. However, main character designs are done, so work on sub-characters and town NPCs has begun, with anomalies still being designed too. And the last boss is nearing completion in terms of design. Apparently the last boss's design is so overwhelming, the developers openly wondered if Ingram and company can actually defeat it. Aside from some more stories and good natured complaining about the woes of development, that's it for Armed Fantasia. Now for Penny Blood. They are still working hard at discussing things with publishers, so nothing solid on that front yet. The finale for the game's story has been decided, and it was said that Pennyblood will maybe inherit the tradition of the bad ending becoming the true ending. Matthew's ending is something they are satisfied with, so we'll see if that ends up being the case in the future with the bad ending being the canon one. I'm guessing that was something common in the Shadowheart series, but I can't comment on it as I haven't played any of those games yet. The Earth Elemental Fusion Monster is complete too, and the last one, Wind, is being completed currently. A third Cthulhu Mythos Monster, the Gatanathoa, was revealed in this update too with some concept art, and it's the child of an old one. And the developers say, can you guess which one based on how the creature looks? Lastly, there's a piece from their image boarding. It's called Under the Harlem Elevated Railway. And apparently Harlem was very dangerous during Prohibition because of all the bootlegging and gang activity. So this will probably be a dangerous area for our characters in game. And that's it really of note for this month. Thanks for watching everybody. It was short but sweet and I'll catch you next month. Peace.